You are about to hear real people reliving traumatic customer service experiences for the first time. What you're about to see is not a news broadcast. These are honest portrayals of real online reviews. Be ready to see humanity at its worst. Marissa J loves her grandmother. We are very close. I see her at least twice a year. This devoted granddaughter is finally ready to share her story. You may need to be seated. You're about to be served a chilling plate of drama, an emulsified free-range thrill, an amuse-bouche of wilted pride, and a dash of sibling rivalry du jour. Bon appetit. When I called to make this booking, I explained to them just how important this birthday dinner was to my grandmother. It could be her last one. Hello, thanks for calling the Terrace at Turtle Grove, home of the world famous chocolate turtle tort. Uh, how may I help you? Yes, it's me again, Arissa. Could you put me straight through to the manager, sweetie? I'm calling to confirm Grammy my mom's birthday. <laughs> Sorry, uh, well, thanks for calling the Terrace at Turtle Grove, uh, home of the world famous chocolate turtle <laughs> Excuse me. Once again, it's Irissa. Please tell the manager, Christina, that I'm on the line. It's Irissa. I as in intelligent, R as in regal, Good luck. I as in okay. intelligent. Hey, this is Christina. Thank you for calling the Terrace of Turtle Grove, home of the world famous chocolate. I know all about your turtle torts, okay? We will be taking the 151 and there will be no traffic at this hour. We will get there promptly at 355. You will greet us at the door and you will escort us to the patio, capiche? Uh, yes ma'am, but just so you know, it's gonna be pretty chilly that night, so. Christina, did I stutter? <laughs> Welcome to the Terrace of the Turtle Grove, home of the world famous chocolate turtle tour. Can you just seat us, please? If this was indeed Granny's last act, how would she remember, and more importantly, rank her illmatic granddaughters? Upon arriving at 3.57 p.m., the restaurant was actually quite dead, and the patio, let me tell you, it was for reason. You know, Irisa, would have been nice to know that this lunch was gonna go so late into the afternoon. Rather cold out here on the patio, and I don't think any of us want Grammy my mom to get a cold. I didn't think so much about it at the time, but looking back, I should have known that a storm was a brewing. I am so glad that we are finally all together to celebrate what is, as you know, the most important birthday of the Excuse me, Ashton. Hi. Can you come here? Oh, yes. I don't know if the manager informed you, but today's my grandmommy month's birthday. Yeah, so typically for birthdays, we typically just do okay. a tour. Now, you listen to me, Ashton, and you listen good. You're going to bring us all around a sweet tea, <laughs> then you're going to bring us all some steak Diane. Okay? Uh, okay. All right. Can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. All right. Once she finally did make some time in her busy little schedule to come over and get our order, she forgot my grandmother's husband's sweet tea. It's a really big deal. He's been working so hard having you my bread bear. Uh, well, she's not gonna, she's, uh, she's exaggerating a little bit. It's, it's, it's in review to be published. It's modest. <laughs> <laughs> this is simply ridiculous. Alan here is almost done with his sweet tea, and Grandpa here hasn't even gotten any at all. I'll be all right. Matter of fact, pretty sure my doctor told me to skip out a few more sweet teas. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Can we get some sweet tea over here? Please? Gee whiz, quite a humdinger, that one. I wonder if it maybe had something to do with included gratuity. Arissa had put her neck on a line by offering to plan her grandmama's birthday dinner. 
Would her scheme to gain Grandmama's love and inheritance finally get back on track? Or was her goose about to get cooked? Those bastards in the kitchen must have been fiddling their little diddlers because it took an hour. Yes, I said an hour for those suckers to come out. An hour for a steak, Diane? Are you thick? Because the cuts of meat sure weren't. Is everything OK with Granny Grand Grand? She hasn't touched her steak, Diane. It's a little bit scrawny, though, don't you think? Granny Moo Moo should not be eating like this at her age. Granny Mama. It's Granny Mama. You should take that steak away. It looks like a mullet and a roadkill had a baby. It was embarrassing. All right, everyone, let's not worry about the steak, Diane. We have a big surprise coming. Mm. Earth to Ashen! Earth to Ashen! We've been done with our meal for 10 minutes. It's time for the you know what. Uh, we got over the food thing immediately. Oh, no worries, actually. Uh, I'm still chopping away here. <laughs> and to be honest, we were just really looking forward to the big surprise. The cake. Goodbye. Oh, the turtle door. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. It's near impossible for this little lady to make things any worse, but she sure did. Surprise, surprise. She decided to go pre cut the cake into individual slices. Then she stuck there trying to cram these big, beautiful candles I bought onto a tiny little slice. The birthday girl always gets to cut the first slice, especially if it's her last one. I mean, Mama, you're not eating that. Did you just blow my cake? I did. Ashton, this is ridiculous. Obviously, my grandmother couldn't eat that cake now, right? Now look. I know people have to make money. I do. But if it is not your dream to be a server, then do not be one. You cross a red line, Ashton. I need the manager. Manager! Manager! This was the event Arissa had been scheming for all year. Christina! <laughs> her chance to lay her claim to the granddaughter's throne once and for all. But instead of a coronation on her beloved grandmama, mama, mama, mama's 60th birthday, it was only chaos. Alan, why don't you go make yourself useful? Go get the bill. Don't talk to him like that. Go get the bill. Okay. <clears throat> Arissa, this is all your fault. You think the world revolves around you and your damn steak Diane's. My word. This is exactly why grandma's first husband left. So sorry, he's probably dead by now. You turtle torts think you're saints, but y'all actually ain't. Did you just, just call, call us turtle torts? No, 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 it's no, really no, fine. No, I, ah. oh. <gasps> Laurel mining, none of you can afford this anyway. Hit it all over. Oh. I got it. We got, got it. it. I've got it. We've got it. I have it. We've got it. Meanwhile, I had a little chat with the manager, Christina. I'm sorry, wait. You need to do something about that waitress. What is she, a rescue dog? A DreamWorks dragon? One, two, or three girl needs training. You screwed me, Christina. I, I, that's surprising. She's actually one of our most experienced servers, um, but I'll, I'll definitely. Let's go. Whatever. I'll take you to her. Okay. That manager, she came coming out just trying to push a little gift card on us. Wait, wait, here you go. Please take this gift card. It doesn't expire. Use it on holidays. We won't be coming back anytime soon. It's a very nice gift card. Uh, Missy, uh, I just let it lay. Still, Christina, she kept pushing. Please just take the gift card. It's a, it's a very nice gift card. Crap service and lack of consistency in food cannot be made up for with a flimsy gift card. Now, did Granny have the worst birthday of her long life? How could Irissa ever live this down? How could she ever redeem herself? How could she ever look at her family in the eyes again? God knows, I can't look at mine anymore. 
I very much hope that God blesses my family with another birthday with my sweet Nana. Because I am her favorite grandchild and I let her down. And if this is her last one, I'm sorry, I just need a minute. Shh, don't tell her, but I cut her out of the wheel four years ago. She's such a pro. Thank you.